Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm back in the city of Edinburgh and I've come up to the High Street. I'm actually not far from the castle, the castle's just up over my left shoulder. But where I'm going to be visiting today is the Camera Obscura, uh, which is just in the, the hill a wee bit from the castle itself. It's just across the road from the Whiskey Experience. And I have heard good things about the Camera Obscura. So I'm just going to pop in and have a wee wander around and try and film as much as I can. It does look like a really interesting place. So yeah, I'm just going to cross the road in a second. Before I do head, head across, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, I mean click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to get myself across the road. As I was saying, the castle is just up there and the camera obscura is this building here. It's just a short, a short walk down the, the high street and it's the one that's got the really weird thing on top of the building. And apparently you can get really good views of the city from up there. So I'll try and see if I can get myself up to the top and get some views. Because even from where I'm standing, uh, you can actually catch glimpses of uh, the Firth of Forth. You can just make it out uh, just down that way. So if I can get myself to the top, I should be able to get even better views. Yeah, and I wouldn't be Edinburgh if I wasn't uh, a piper playing somewhere on the high street. So it's open late. And again, it's one of those places that yeah, it's just full of illusions and weird funny mirrors make you look strange. Yeah, so you do get a lot of these mirror illusions. This is the Infinity Corridor. And we've got a thermal camera here as well. So putting the sky boats on. So as you're looking down either on a mile, you can see right Arthur's seat. And that'd be Calton Hill over there. And you can see the Bash Rock all in the distance. Yeah, so I was looking towards uh, the old town. I think that's Harriet Watts over there. That's down towards Greyfriars. That's a really posh private school. And you can see the Pentland Hills over there. And 
there you can see the castle. Quite a cool wee logo with that. So that's the wee thing on top of the roof that you can see. That's what we've got the, the actual camera obscura in. Also the castle there. Uh, yeah, this is a, an even better panorama of the city. So you've got the, the fourth down there with five over on our side of the water. The Princess Street. Now you do have to remember if you are coming to the Camera Obscura, there are a lot of steps inside the building itself. So just to keep that in mind, uh, I don't think I don't have to see a lift in the building, but again, just be aware that there are a lot of steps and it's an old, it's a, an old building. So some of, the set, some of the staircases can be kind of narrow, but just again, take your time, there's no point in rushing, just enjoy your time being here and enjoy yourself. Yeah, they've got this tunnel here as well. And we'll come out with the flash before it's probably ruining it. But this, this just is a weird spot. It feels like you're going to spin rounds. And you're going to fall off. But it's actually really cool at the same time. I'm going to try and turn around and get out of view that way. Well, that's us back out from the Camera Obscura. And it's definitely something that I'd recommend if you are in Edinburgh and you are up on the, the Drill Mile, the High Street. If you are going to visit the castle, definitely stop off at the Camera Obscura. Uh, so, okay, it's a bit pricey, it's, it's about uh, just over £20 for a single adult to get in. But I do think you do get quite a bit for it. And um, with the, the Vortex, uh, tunnel that you do get towards the end. I don't think the video footage actually gives it, uh, well, gives it the true impression of what it's really like. But I would definitely recommend if you're in the area, even if it's just for the views of Edinburgh from the top, they're, they're worth it. And yeah, it's just a nice way to stop in, have a wee wander and see what it was like. And I know, I know that there is one uh, down in Dumfries, which I still have to go visit. That's the one that was in uh, the Dumfries Museum. So I'll have to do a video for that one as well. But well, hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll find the camera obscura intriguing and that when you are in Edinburgh next time you'll stop off and have a wee visit. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.